Hello friends, this is Dr. Naveen Agrawal. I am an interventional cardiologist practicing at Valsad and Vapi region of Gujarat. My topic for today's discussion is regarding medicines which need to be continued after an angioplasty. Uh, there are a lot of issues pertaining to the medicines which people need to continue after an angioplasty and people have a lot of queries which medicines to continue, what exactly is the purpose of the medicine, why do we need to continue medicines, how long do we continue uh, need to continue medicines. A lot of queries come into the mind of people and a lot of things they have uh, to ask us. In this video, I'll be answering majority of these questions. Still, if it, uh, you do have some question queries, you are free to ask. But I'll try to answer majority of the questions which are routinely asked to us during the course of our routine consultations. The people who are new to my channel, I would request them to subscribe to my channel as this gives us a lot of motivation and inspiration to continue the good work as we are doing now. Uh, I would request you to see the video till then because it will contain almost every answer to all the questions which people have regarding medicines pertaining to angioplasty, post angioplasty period. What are the purposes of the medicine and what exactly is the benefit of these medicines? Coming back to the topic, uh, my topic for today is regarding what is the purpose of medicines after angioplasty. Basically, in one sentence, if I need to answer it, the purpose is to continue the proper functioning of the stents and prevent the reblockage of the stents, prevent the patient from having a reinfarction or a repeat ev uh, event of stent thrombosis or stent restenosis or any similar issues in future. That is the basic purpose of the medicines. Besides this, we also need to control all the risk factors, be it blood pressure, sugar, cholesterols or whatever risk factor the patient has, obesity or whatever the risk factor is there in the patient. That risk factor also needs to be continued. So that is the basic purpose of the medicines, to continue the functioning of the stent and to control the risk factors. It's usually in the control of the risk factors, especially in that of blood sugar levels, we are lenient in the first few days of an angioplasty. The reason being, uh, initially, the flesh sugar levels continue to fluctuate a lot. As soon as the patient comes to us with an acute heart attack because of catecholamine surge, the blood sugar levels tend to shoot up. And this blood uh, sugar levels is dependent on the pain which the patient is experienced experiencing. By the next day or after one or two days, the sugar levels start to become normal. And if at all we target a very aggressive blood sugar levels in this course of time, then there is very high chances that when the uh, patient comes back to his normal life, starts doing his activities because in the hospital the patient was not doing any activity. So once the person starts doing his routine activities and comes back to his normal life and his normal food stuff, then the sugar levels will tend to suddenly fall. So if it overtreat the patient in this course of time, that can be detrimental to the, to the patient and the patient might suddenly come back to the hospitals in a, an emergency situation with an episode of hypoglycemia with a very low blood sugar level. So that is why in the first few days, if on the sugar levels is 100 to 150 or maybe even slightly on the higher side, uh, that also is acceptable although i we do not usually mean that we want the blood sugar levels to go above 200 because that might also be detrimental for the patient the risk of infections and problems might increase but around anything around 100 to 150 is acceptable slightly on the high side is also acceptable as the patient comes back to us in the follow-up after the first seven to ten days then we can get a better or a more aggressive blood sugar controls once the normal life and the normal food stuff and the normal appetite of the patient resumes Secondly, uh, uh, patients tend to ask us what is their blood cholesterol levels because usually in an acute heart attack scenario, uh, the patient's blood, sugar level, blood cholesterol levels tend to fluctuate a lot because uh, cholesterol is involving in, involved in the healing of the heart. Secondly, as soon as the patient arrives in the hospital, as a part of the standard protocol, we give cholesterol reduction medicine to all the patient at the topmost dose because it's a standard protocol and studies have shown that these high dose statins reduce the incidence of stent thrombosis and stent related problems and heart attack related problems. So even if the patient is not undergoing an angioplasty and if the patient is medically managed also, then also the full dose of the statin or the cholesterol reducing medicine is given to each and every patient irrespective of the blood cholesterol levels. Uh, the reason being that it saves the body, it saves the patient from the heart attack, the mortality of the patient is reduced and it uh, prevents further reinfarction, it stabilizes the endothelium of the heart. So even if the cholesterol levels of the patient are normal, then too the cholesterol levels are given to each and every patient. So there is no point in getting the blood cholesterol level checked because invariably the cholesterol level will come low. And seeing that low cholesterol level, the patient will get a false belief that the blood cholesterol level is normal because already the full dose uh, that is 80 mg of adorvastatin and 40 mg of rosuvastatin, either of these medicine has already been given to the patient and will be continued at least for the first few days, maybe one or two months after an angioplasty procedure or a heart attack. So invariably the blood sugar levels is going to come 
blood cholesterol levels is going to come low and any point there is no point in doing a blood cholesterol level estimation at this point of time because that will give us a very false picture or wrong picture of the cholesterol levels uh, usually after a heart attack the recommended levels of ldl cholesterol is 70 uh, in a post heart attack patient the lower ldl level we go the better it is some studies have even shown that even if the ldl levels is less than 30 also that is also beneficial for the patient although we do not recommend that low blood sugar uh, blood cholesterol levels but ldl levels below 30 are uh, below 70 are the target and if at all whatever is the blood cholesterol level and it is if it is very high we go more aggressive we can add other uh, cholesterol reducing medicines also but anyhow we have to achieve a ldl cholesterol levels below 70 although uh, the benefits with the statin gives us, to us in the form of uh, plaque stabilization, membrane stabilization, reduction of stent thrombosis and plate, uh, plated aggregation. All these benefits which are given to us, uh, us by the statins are way beyond the benefit which it gives by cholesterol reduction. That is why irrespective of the LDL levels or irrespective of the cholesterol levels, uh, LDL reducing medicine are given to all the patients. That is statins are given all to all the patients at full doses. But uh, Cholesterol levels may or may not be high. If at all the patient's cholesterol level is on the higher side, we have to get it down to below 70. That is what the guidelines recommend. The lower the better is what the newer guidelines suggest, although it is not confirmed by all the guidelines. Uh, some people ask her, is it important for us to continue the medicine even if the patient is feeling normal? So to these patient people, I need to say that even if you feel the normal, the medicines are there to make you, not just to make you feel better, they are there to keep the incidence of stent thrombosis on the lower side to make you feel uh, the risk to reduce the risk of complication the reduce the risk of problems which happens to the patient that is the purpose of the medicine so irrespective of the fact whether the patient is feeling normal or is normal or not we have to continue the medicines uh, lifetime uh, usually any cough cold medicines off karo na yaar point out karo fan ban karo